in this tutorial I'm going to, to give the delete task functionality to our app we are going to do very easy very very rapidly okay well very quickly excuse me uh, we are going to go here to the welcome uh, welcome okay we are going to give that functionality in there to delete uh, the task okay uh, we are going to inject uh, a code here uh, we are going to tell the following route <coughs> we are call calling the route <coughs> delete delete task we are going to delete the task okay and we are going to send the the, the next parameters okay uh, the next parameters are the next uh, uh, we are going to call um, task id and give it a uh, that task it, it has an id okay it is going got this get this and give it to this variable okay uh, and go to the road control s okay uh, to control s uh, and go to the to our road okay we are going to our roads in our roads we are going to copy this to make this quickly and uh, we are going to call the get the delete delete task method and uh, we are going to send to send and parameter it's very important to do this because we need to send a parameter what is this save we save in the view okay tax id is here is this same parameter okay tax id uses task controller destroy the, me the method destroy and destroy method destroy method here okay destroy task destroy tax or call it delete task okay it, it method it wrote is called delete task is going to go to the controller and destroy that task delete task control is we are going to task controller okay this method is a rest method uh, is very easy to say rest method as we can see okay laravel is very powerful in that aspect uh, we are going to first create a method of the controller task we are calling that from our model where we are going to select a it's, it's like where select from where selling from our table where li the id is equal to this parameter in the database the parameter in the database and the parameter from the view are the same to delete the, the correct uh, task task delete delete is very easy delete that task and return the same redi redirect method uh, back to our uh, our welcome view control s uh, a little wrapper first we are going to change the delete going to send this parameter is going to the road the road is going to receive that that value is going to call the task controller destroy method is going here destroy method in the task controller is going to receive the id where the id in the database id in the database is the same and this parameter that we sent is going to delete that text and it's going to render that view okay let's see if that works at first we uh, start our <coughs> our server php php localhost 8000 <coughs> Lo localhost and delete our tags this works delete uh, this 
this is a test of delete a task in delete a task delete a task you can maybe uh, create a confirmation page but um, but uh, you can uh, you can say that it's working now by some milk okay and we see that the we are we can delete those tasks okay we can see that this is the same as that this okay we are we are uh, saving our task okay there are three registers three items okay three tasks uh, that's it uh, we need only to update our tags and make um, some validation that's the general idea of Laravel it's very important I'm going uh, to tell you is you can read the documentation it's very easy and you can see what's the the great advantage of Laravel framework okay uh, this all for the I next in I next I hope yeah, and see you in next tutorials okay thanks a lot